There are different kinds of sensory receptors and we're going to classify them in this slide based on their location. Exteroceptors are located at or near the external surface of the body and their purpose is to be sensitive to stimuli that are from the external environment. So things like hearing and vision and smell and tasting, those kinds of sensory receptors that are involved in those sensations, those are called exteroceptors. Interoceptors are sensory receptors that are located in places like blood vessels, the visceral organs, muscles, and the purpose of this is to monitor the internal environment of your body. And so you'll get information from these interoceptors that have to do with, for instance, things like your blood pressure. And these messages uh, aren't consciously perceived. So in other words, they're sending messages to your uh, brainstem, but you're not aware of what those messages are. There are, however, some interoreceptors that when activated by strong stimuli may be felt as pain or pressure. But typically, interoreceptors are sending messages that are going to the brain, but you're not consciously aware of those messages. Proprioceptors are receptors that are found in the muscles and the tendons, the joints, and also in the inner ear. And we'll talk about the inner ear in the next chapter when we talk about the various organs of equilibrium, helping you maintain your balance. The purpose of proprioceptors is to send information about your body position and also muscle length and tension. And this helps you to make the appropriate body movements and make you keep your balance. We can also classify sensory receptors based on the type of stimulus. Mechanical receptors are sensitive to mechanical stimuli like stretching and bending of cells. And you would have these kinds of receptors in your skin for touch and in your joints for proprioception. And also, for instance, like in your blood vessels to help monitor stretching of the blood vessels. Thermal receptors are receptors that detect changes in temperature. Nociceptors respond to painful stimuli that comes from physical or chemical damage to tissue. Photoreceptors detect light, and so these would be in the retina of your eye. Chemoreceptors are detecting chemicals. For instance, they would detect the chemicals in your mouth, or they detect chemicals in your nose, or in body fluids. And lastly, osmoreceptors are detecting the osmotic pressure of body fluids. And this helps you to maintain the right concentration of your blood in particular.